Hey guys, my name is Patrick. This song is Zach Brown Band's I'll Be Your Man. Um, this song goes out to my daughter. This was the song that I dedicated to her back when I was still going through all my shit. And I still mean every word of it. Um, I had already recorded this, but um, I do believe that there was some product issues or video issues. So I'm going to try it again, is all I'm saying. Um, as always, though, just remember, this is not a reaction. These are songs that have helped me on my road to recovery, songs for my family, songs for my kids. These are songs that matter to me. Either they've helped me on my road to recovery, helped me get out of where I was mentally, physically, emotionally, etc. But without any further delay, here we go. See, the thing that sucks is I missed out on the early part of my daughter's life. Um, you know, we had some struggles with family and just all around being, I was in the military at the time. And so, you know, there was, there was just a lot going on. And then I got out of the military and it became... Um, I got addicted and then, you know, so stuff just kept going wrong and I'm not making excuses. I'm here now and I love you, Sadie. Oh. A year ago, my daughter told me, and I'm paraphrasing, that she knew that I loved meth and that she knew I loved her. And ultimately, whether I was at her wedding or not would determine if I loved her more. And at the time that this came up, I honestly didn't even know if I'd be alive to be at the wedding. So when I walked her down the aisle in October of 2021, it was the biggest day of my life. I just want you to know that I've been your, your man behind the scenes as your father since day one. Even if I wasn't directly involved, I always made sure I knew what was going on in your life and how you were doing, how you were growing. Um, I just wish I could have been there physically. But I'm here now. The reason that I call you baby girl is because you're my baby girl. And even when you're 100 years old, if I'm still alive, which will be a miracle, um, you'll still be my baby girl is all I'm trying to say. I miss the fact that I didn't get to do this with you. I want you to know that I'm here now though. 
Soon this life you will see The world's what you want it to be But until then Go on and dance Dance like there's no one around Never stop singing out loud And until then In 2008, 2009, I was in Iraq. And Zach Brown and Kelly Pickler and Kid Rock came out and played for us. And it was the first time that I'd ever heard Kid, Zach Brown. And I was blown away by his musicianship um, and just his overall stage presence was absolutely amazing and I was thrilled that I got to see him live. So, as the song progresses and we watch the growing up of his daughter into a woman and, you know, the troubles that come with children in relationships, I think he painted a masterful picture of how a father truly feels and how it truly feels to be there for your daughter. I mean, let's not forget the videography as well and the seamless transition from being a child to being an adult. Um, the reason that, that is important to me is because it's true to life when you're when you're a parent and you don't you're not always there when you go from your child being a child to your child being an adult that transition of time happens so so quickly um, my daughter's wedding was the first time in seven years that I got to see my son. And here, the last time I saw him, he was 10 years old and he came up to my waist. And so when I picked him up at the airport and he's six feet tall and 17 years old, it was crazy to me. But then on top of that, at the wedding, and I'm walking my daughter down the aisle, my son's recording, and the family's there, and the forgiveness that transpired was healing. The whole event was so healing. And I hope that my daughter is happy and Kyle, I hope you're happy. And I mean that. Because even if I can't be the one to provide that happiness for my daughter, that if there's if knowing that there's someone in her life that does provide that for her, then I am all for it. Um, but just know that Sadie's my priority and always will be.
as with any relationship, there is this, um, this honeymoon phase that we go through and everything is blissful and everything's good. Um, the goal and the hope is that we stay that way. But to go back for a second when he was moving that chair with the, the shoes and he was transitioning mentally from his daughter relying on him and utilizing him as a priority to his daughter moving on, which is something that kids do. They move forward with their lives. And we have to accept that. We can't get offended or continue to, to apply pressure or worry about them and tell them we're worried about them. We have to let them go to the degree that they can live their own life. And then if they need us as parents for any reason, they need to know that the door is always open and they can always come back. Can we just take a minute to appreciate the harmony that these guys have? I mean, this is, this is like, this is country, but it's blues and it's a little bit of, of a melting pot of a song. Um, the playing is phenomenal. The singing, the harmonizing, and how well all of this blends is amazing. What we're seeing, what I'm seeing here is the divergence of this relationship. They are moving in two different directions. She is trying desperately to be vulnerable and explain to him who she is and what she's about. And he is, to me, almost pushing her away. He's trying to show her that he's listening, but he's also his body language and his mannerisms are not engaging in what she's trying to tell him. See, 
see again anxiety he says I can't look at this I can't do this because it's causing anxiety and she's going I get it but embrace it become comfortable with what makes you uncomfortable because it matters to me and if it matters to me then it should matter to you further again with the harmonies and the 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 vocal crescendo there at the end I mean just from the soul it's oh it's so the song itself is so gripping and then during all of this soulful passionate music he's reminiscing about his daughter and grow and her growing up and while she is trying to move forward with her life into adulthood he's reminiscing about her as a child and the the, the dichotomy there that the, the and there's so much about this song that makes it special to me and 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 why I've dedicated this to my daughter I will just say this I love my daughter and my son. If there's anything that I can do to be there for them, I will. But to the person that hurts my child, Trust and believe, Dad's watching. Dad's aware of what's going on most of the time. And for all my, my dads out there, single dads, married dads, doesn't matter. Your kids should be your greatest asset in life um, because you are passing on a generation, um, the next generation. You are, you are teaching the next generation. You're emboldening, emblazoning the next generation 
to be better people, to lead, to, to And if you're not, just remember that your kids, if they're learning more about life from a, an electronic device than they are from you, reevaluate and Remember that even when you are not an active teacher in your children's life, your actions in life are teaching them as well. Ask my kids about the lessons they've learned about my struggles with, with mental illness, with addiction, with my recovery process, because they learned just as much from those examples as they did from anything that I taught them directly. Can we just pause for a moment to talk about that cinematography and the metaphors and the analogies that are being made here? The personification of a firefly as a guardian for life's light. It's pretty freaking epic. Never be afraid to be vulnerable. Never be afraid to let your kids know that you're there. Never be afraid to reach out and let your kids know that you love them. Because tomorrow's not guaranteed. Sadie, Liam, and the rest of everybody, see you next time. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe on this song for Zach Brown, and I will see you guys later.